Hey guys, Central Cal Piper here. Thought I'd give you a look at my uh, pipe collection and other miscellaneous things. So this is in my home office. <clears throat> and uh, see there, I've got a piano, some other things. Here's an old picture, uh, a wedding picture from about 35 years ago. Me and my wife, Amy. So that's in here, but the subject of this video is my tobacco and pipe collection. So I'm just going to show you around a bit here. Got a couple of little pipes here that I like. These are both, uh, what are they called? Something Town. Shoot, I can't think of a name. Anyway, I got them off of eBay. They're both like 20 bucks. This one's nice. It's good size. It's small. This one, however, has a really tiny little mouthpiece. It's almost like a toy pipe, but anyway. So usable, 20 bucks. I've got here some pipes <clears throat> that I got last week. These are the five pipes. They were $20 each um, from Pipes and Cigars. They're uh, the Barrakinis. Anyway, pretty nice. Clip them here. I mean, for $20, you can beat them. So, got these. Some other pipes back there. The little humidor type thing. My main pipe shelf here, pipe rack, has uh, some of my pipes on it. There's one that I smoked today. It's like Dr. Grabo. <laughs> I've got some tobaccos there that I put in these jars. A couple of special pipes. This one here is a clay pipe. My daughter got that for me from uh, Townsend's. It's an old clay pipe. No, it's new, but it looks like an old style. Some other pipes. I got a King Tut pipe here. I got about a year ago. Meerschaum, which is really nice. Anyway, some more tobaccos there. <clears throat> this pipe here, I thought it was bamboo. <laughs> got it off of eBay. It was 10 bucks. However, that middle section, well, it's pseudo bamboo. It's plastic. It's also got a metal bowl, so I haven't done anything with it. It just sits here. It was less than $10. Did I say that? Including shipping? Anyway, got a few pipes here. And um, a couple of pipes here, my father-in-law's pipes that I got. A few others. Old Dr. Grabo. Um, over here, and got perhaps the world's largest Meerschaum pipe. <laughs> I got this about a year ago at a place called the Sanctuary Tobacco Shop in San Luis Obispo. And some other pipes here. Have my Falcons on the top rack. And some other nice ones on the bottom. Some more tobacco. And this is my main tobacco collection here. So my wife says I have too much. I still see at least one empty spot there. <laughs> so my Cormacob pipes here. A Whitlick's uh, pipe kit. Tobacco pouch there. And uh, <clears throat> Jelly Belly collection. Gumballs. Old Granger tin there. What else? Um, See my work desk here. Anyway, that's my home office. I get to work from home on on uh, Thursday, so I really enjoy that. Anyway, just so I give you a quick oh, a couple other things here. This is a lighter I got about a week ago. I ordered it a few months ago. It's really neat. I like it a lot. This lighter here is a Peterson that my uh, it's got me for my, my 60th birthday. I love this one, special, special to me. Anyway, um, that's about it. But I just wanted to show you my setup here, my home office with a few pipes. Okay, so hope you like it. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, two, two more pipes here. <clears throat> I got these pipes from, uh, I bought these from Mike at Old Band Things. Uh, I've had those for about a year. Wonderful Sherlock Holmes and Watson Mearsham pipes. I think that's it. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed my little tour. Talk to you soon.